Hi, uh, this is Paul Cho, and uh, this is the seventh lecture and the last lecture uh, for the beginner. And today we w I want to draw uh, Lagrange. And uh, if you have a bag, then prepare the bag. And let's start from the bag. Uh, first of all, okay. Uh, we need to make the 5 inch from the this one and okay from here to here uh, it should be 5 inch distance so uh, press 5 and enter and you know we need to attach this line to the shoulder so select this one and click this line and make a right button press right button to finish it and then now we want to draw our neck again so uh, okay we need to make a 7.5 inches from this reference point and then Okay, put the cursor on the line, type in 7.5, press enter, and then make a T, and click here. Okay, and then now, we draw, we connect from here to here. To make a neck and press right button to finish and put on here make a press right button and click then we can have a lagram front and neck part okay and click and then uh, now mm, we need to remove all the unnecessary assistant lines and here delete and corner arrangement okay inside press right button inside press right button and we want to extend the shoulder at 24 uh, 25.5 inches so press shift and press right button okay at the new length 25.5 press ok then you will get uh, this one and now we need to move this one to here so and press it anywhere and type in 7.5 inches enter Okay, now uh, we remove these lines and we move up and 9.5 inches and then we don't need this one, old one. And we need corner arrangement here. And now uh, we need to connect from here to here.
and to finish press right button and we need to make shorter the slip bottom as 4.5 so shift and right button at the new length 4.5 press enter and then now we need to move this one to here so press A click here attach here and with the F uh, A this one okay we can use to make a curve here click and make a curve for the sleeve okay now we need to draw connect from here to here and to finish press right button and now we need to connect this one to here and click here press right button and then okay uh, we need this one make it shorter okay so shift uh, with the a button and enter then y direction minus 1.5 and press enter okay now we need to uh, draw curve here with the F2 and no A2 Okay, make a curve here, here, okay, and you can adjust okay, and then we need to make copy this one uh, with the O tool or K tool doesn't matter okay I will show you with the O tool O and click the center here and then you know select the uh, line should be the curved select it will show and you can adjust oh okay uh, select this one and make a right button then you can adjust now you can change the shape at this moment and you know if you're done to change press right button oh then okay I made a mistake because I need to make a copy so okay you can see the x and 2 then it means copy okay so i will do it again from here to here make a uh, select this one and to finish the selection press right button and if you click then you can see the difference and if you are done press right button then you can have you know uh, these lines and then if you are done okay uh, we need to make the uh, this is back to make the front okay use M tool and it should have multiply and two to copy so select 
and press right button to finish the selection. Get the copy, press right button, and then we need to put this way. Okay. And then now we need to make a copy this one and make a right button, select and move a little bit and press enter. You ask how much, then x direction minus 0.5, press enter. And then now uh, we need to draw. So from the this new line top here, so use F and here and make a straight and then type in 3.75. Press enter. And then we draw here, wherever here. And press enter. And then we need to connect this one and this one. So that's why select and click here and press right button to finish. And then we don't need these things. So, okay, delete. And then now we arrangement and click here with the S click and press right button to finish and then right button and make a curve. Now we don't need this one. Also we don't need this one. And we need the arrangement here. So select and inside press right button, then attach and remove the unnecessary one. Okay. Now we need to make the same here to here and press right button to finish. And then press right button and make a curve here to make an armor and if you are done and also now we can adjust and copy this uh, curve so that is uh, O press O click click and click and press right button to finish the selection and if you want you can adjust the curve and if you are done press right button oh. The same thing we should make copy and I will do it again here and right button and adjust if you want and then if you're done press right button to finish and then now, uh, with the blending tool, that is Shift and C, press C, and then now we select this one, and we select this one, and make a right button, and also select this one, and select this one, and make a right button. Then, as you can see, you can adjust here. So, press here. 
If you want to adjust like that, then click here and click here. And right button. Then it is done. It is adjusted. This is the best tool for the blending. And then there is a shift and C key. Then you can get the blending and can, you can adjust. And now uh, we want to this one okay uh, to move to right side okay one and seven five so that's why you need to with the A tool and enter and X direction one point seventy five press OK and then with the A tool again then press and make a curve here so then uh, we are done now and then uh, we need to draw here with the F2 and with the T and at this much we don't have to have the you know, exact amount click here and then uh, we need to uh, from here to make a straight line here so it should be 2.25 press enter and then here again this one we can go here one inches and press enter and now Uh, we need adjust here so select and click and inside and not here inside right button and also here select and inside right button okay. now we can uh, make, you know, the uh, pattern from this design with a T tool, and here select and press right button. Again, with the T tool, okay, select here, 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 and uh, here, and then press right button to finish, and then put the piece uh, at the other side, and now uh, again. Here, 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 okay, again, this one, and make a right button, and get the piece, and put in here, okay, again, we will do the same thing, here, so, uh, with the right button click click and click 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 and press right button and get the piece here and again press right button to start here 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 and here 
and uh, here press right button this one now and we need to get uh, this part also so select this one this one oh, okay we'll this one this one and this one and inside click and press the right button and then get this one and now we need to remove this part so then uh, we can remove with a cut tool and cut here there was a the right column and from the bottom the first one that is cut shortcut is C and this part we don't need so control D and yes so we have this one now and then we need to put this one together so to join the third one from the bottom and click click okay and then with the rotate tool uh, shift and R it is uh, 8 from the bottom and then at the put the cursor on the piece and press right button or select and select or you can in this way press right button click and click and wrap button okay and now okay uh, we need to make uh, this grain line so the G grain line and on here press right button then it is done and you can change by pressing right button okay and then the last one uh, we want to uh, show you okay there is a Q tool there is a Q tool here uh, we are gonna uh, make the same notches this one and this one so that's why click and click and then if you wanna notch it around this and it will show it is uh, four inches from here four and three quarter okay three inches from there it shows and add notch click and press right button then as you see you know that at the same point there is a notch okay uh, that's all for today thank you